So for today, we're still on approach to lower GI bleed. And so the rationale for this objective is that lower GI bleed or lower gastrointestinal bleed is defined as blood which is originating distal to the ligament of triads. Okay, now it can present as frank bleeding. And if it presents as frank bleeding, we call it hematochesia hematochesia or as occult bleeding now although commonly seen in benign conditions it may be the first presentation of malignancy so that is something you want to pay attention to you know lower gi bleed may be a sign of you know badness happening in the in the, in the patient so you want to really really um note that very well so that you know as you go through your learning if you see any patient with that you can be able to really tell and help the patient out. That is basically that. Okay. Um, now, you realize that the causal conditions as listed by the medical council. So if there are any topics you need to master, make sure that you master colorectal cancer. And those in metacognito, you master colorectal polyps, master diverticulosis. And when you're mastering di diverticulosis, don't only master diverticulosis, master diverticulosis, diverticulitis, complications of diverticulosis and diverticulitis. Also master angiodysplasia, okay? Master angiodysplasia. Um, also make sure that you are mastering anorectal disease. So everything from, you know, um, hemorrhoids to anal fissures, all those things. Then please, as part of the things you are mastering for the exam, make sure you've also mastered enterocolitis. And then also make sure that you've mastered brisk bleeding from the upper GI bleeds, upper GI 